guys, welcome back to another episode of Off-Road Outlaws. Today, we are going to be buying a buggy and a, another rig. Um, sorry about my voice. I went camping and lost my voice. Um, but we're going to be heading on over here. We are in Utah right now. Um, we're going to head over to the dude's house and uh, talk to him. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, so we're going to... We're gonna pull up right here. We're gonna get, well, actually, you know what? Sorry, dude, about your porch there. We're actually gonna park. Over here. Get out here, and uh, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to the two real quick, and then we'll go uh, check out the truck and maybe take it over there. Cause I heard that there were some crawling areas up there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go talk to the dude real quick, and then uh, yeah, we'll get back and uh, go check it out. All right, so we got it attached and we're leaving um, his place. So yeah, we're gonna head on over to one of those crawler courses and we're going to uh, see how it does before we put in the engine. All right, so we're here at one of the courses. We're gonna go see how it crawls. Um, it does have rear steer, which I really like because I can make sharper turns with it. Um, and I think it's got 40s. So, uh, yeah, it's got, it's got pretty big tires on it. Um, I have I haven't been here before, so I'm not sure like where the course goes and everything. So we're just kind of like hoping for the best. Oh, that's cool, like a little overlook. Whoa. Okay then. Ooh. Do I fit? Barely. Literally just barely. Look at this. Barely fit. Ooh. Is there like a way down? Nope, not that way. All right. Mm. Okay. Mm. So so far it's doing really good. It's doing better than I thought it would. Um Yeah. Let's uh take it back to the shop and uh 
get the new engine in it and see uh, how it does then. All right, so we got it back to the shop. We're gonna unload it from the trailer. And it looks like the dude was sponsored by a whole lot of different companies. Uh, like Mallory, uh, Holly, uh, MTs. So I'm gonna guess these are MTs. Um, like tires. But yeah, let's get into the engine. So let's put a blower on it. Let's go blower. Ability, grip, engine power, and then weight. All right, so done with that. Um, let's check out the car show winner. Not a bad looking Camaro. Not a bad looking Camaro. Um, so, yeah. All right, so we're gonna, since it is street legal, we're gonna take it, uh, gonna take it out and uh, drive it around and hopefully find some pretty cool trails. All right, so we're out here at the crawler, uh, crawler tracks. Um, we're gonna see how it does going up this. So we're going to put it down in the low gear so I'm not like speeding all over the place. So I could not find a place to put a winch on this thing. So uh don't have a winch on it at the moment, but, and I don't think I'll put one on because I don't know if it'll need it. Um, but yeah, so it made that look like really easy. Um, in a stock rig, it's not very easy, but I mean, you can do it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do another trail and then we're gonna run over and uh, check out this other dude's rig uh, that we're gonna be buying today. So uh, yeah, let's uh, head over to the trailhead and see how this thing does on that trail. All right, so while I'm heading over there, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell um, so that you get notified every time I post a new video. And uh, yeah. So we're here um, on the second trailhead. This, you do kind of need a more modified rig to make it up this, but this thing is modified well enough that I can do it on this. Everything's looking good. Um, suspension seems to be working fine. Uh, everything seems to be working just fine. The engine seems to be running right, uh, running good. So, uh, We're gonna take this back home and we're going to uh, get the other rig. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys when we get to the other rig. So, it's been a couple days uh, since we got the buggy, um, and now we're going to get the other rig. We've been staying at my buddy's place for a little bit. Um, so, yeah, but we're going out. The dude lives here in this town, so, uh, 
and he's selling it because he really didn't like having to drive a whole long what or a whole long time just to uh, just to uh, go off roading, so he's selling it, and we're going to pick it up. So yeah. Um, After this, this will end off this video, um, so thank you guys for watching, I guess. Um, well, okay, not yet. Not done with it yet. Um, he said that he's not going to be home, so, uh, so if I was going to buy it, to just leave the money on his front porch. So we're going to park the trailer here for now. We're going to go check out this rig and see what it looks like and see if we're willing to buy it if we are then we will or then I will put the money on his uh, front porch in his mailbox and then uh, we'll get on with it so we'll just park right there and we'll look back up Let's get out here. Let's go walk up over here. So it looks like he has done a little bit to it. Looks like he's beefed up the suspension or the axles and stuff. Looks like he has painted the wheels and done some bead locks on it. Um, looks like some MTs on it. Um, looks like he's done a full XL cage. Um, really do like this bed, so I'm gonna keep this bed on it, but. Uh, interior looks good oh it's right hand drive okay well uh yeah we're gonna go get the trailer and uh come back and yeah we'll uh we'll put the money on his porch while we're over there and uh we'll uh oh, just, just, oops. Bed. said that he was off having dinner with his kids that have been off on college. So he wanted to spend some time with them. Let's go drop the money. Uh, there's no boxes over here, is it? Okay. Anyways, we'll go pick it up and then put it, uh, and then put the money in his mailbox on the way out. So, let's back this thing up. To the trailer. I wish that you could put down the tailgate on the trucks and stuff. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. Alright.